Hey guys, how you doing? This is E Gizzle 79. I'm here to give you the bids on College Hill episode 10, parts 1 and 2. Before I begin, I want to show you guys my nails. They are black and white with the rhinestones on them. Let me get the light off it. Black and white with the rhinestones. I really like them. I got them done this weekend. And that's it. Um, back to the College Hill episode 10 parts 1 and 2. Um, part 1. Kyle has cooked some ribs and somebody stole his ribs. He left them in the microwave and he got up the next morning and they were gone. Okay. Now, in between episode 10 part 1, um, Brandon, Allison, and, and Kay was in the kitchen trying to figure out who ribs was in the microwave. Should they throw them away or should they put them up? Kay finds out they're cows and she decided to eat them. In my opinion, you know, she she should get him back because he was very rude to her from day one. Um, if you ask me, she did it as a joke. No harm intended. But on part two the, of College Hill, it got out of hand and out of control and it was basically childish. Kyle finds out that Kay takes the ribs and eats them and put the rest in a in a uh, brown paper bag. Um, he finds out by Paul, you know. Now, Paul, he is half white and half black. So, I guess the white part of him snitched on Kay because, you know, white people are always snitching. And, um, snitched on Kay and went and told Kyle that Kay took them. So, Kay was out of the house. She was going on with her day. Kyle made, like, a... They say it was hilarious, but it wasn't nothing funny to me. But he made a stupid picnic with a half-eaten rib with a note that says, Eat me with an umbrella. Like, it's like a little picnic that he laid out for her. So, when she walk in the door, that's the first thing that she's going to see. So, he basically did that. And she came inside. She seen the note, thought it was cute. And she killed Kyle, says, All I want is my money. Well, Kyle was actually reading a note that Allison wrote to her because him and Allison got into it earlier because Allen did not snitch on her. So, um, she was a woman about it. She went upstairs, went in her wallet, came back downstairs to give him his $10 for his ribs. No, no, no. He wants to um, humiliate her more. No, bitch. Put my rib money in the microwave where you got my ribs from. <laughs> First of all, it wouldn't have been me. But since it was Kay, she went ahead and put the money inside of the microwave where he, she got the ribs from. And Kyle being Kyle still did not let that finish. And if, and in between all that's going on, the roommates are kicking and joking and just laughing about this situation. It's all childish. You know, no one is helping this girl out. She's basically being a woman about it. She, she did not admit it in the beginning, but she gave the man the money and he's still acting a damn fool. Okay. He goes upstairs all in her face talking junk about her. He don't like her, blah, blah, blah. She's talking junk back. They all laughing, but when they see it get serious, that's when they want to hold, you know, Kyle and her back or whatever. And my thing is, with this episode, it was so childish from day one. It was childish. Kyle was rude from day one with um, Kay. And, you know, Kay shouldn't have eight and a ribs but at least she gave him the money back and it, it, it's just too much going on and in one episode it's just like too much childish stuff and the next episode that's coming up they're gonna have a therapist coming to the house yes they really do need this therapist because it's so much chaos going on and all of them need to really grow up that's basically it they all need to grow up so y'all stay tuned to that episode which come on next Tuesday on BET. If you haven't seen episodes 10 part 1 and 2, go to BET.com forward slash College Hill and pull up the episode from there. Your girl E. Giggles just gave her opinion and I'm out. Peace.